Hey everyone, how's it going today? Coach Danny Alvarez here, Alvarez Jiu Jitsu in Arlington, Texas. And today, um, I wanted to just kind of drop this in your ear real quick. Uh, just finished up a great training session. And before I leave, I just wanted to kind of give this to you. Um, again, I listen to a lot of podcasts, listen to a lot of things, always searching for, you know, some good mental, mental vitamins, you know, some good things to drop in my ear. And this morning, um, I heard something that kind of had a reference to in a conversation that I had yesterday with some students in the locker room. And one of the podcasts that I heard today was, um, you know, comparison is a death to all joy. You know, I think most of you know, just um, obviously with the world of social media, um, you know, everyone is portraying themselves to be a certain way or whatever. And we get caught up in trying to be like someone else and um, that can be just the death to all the happiness that we're trying to achieve. Um, you know, there's only one of me and no one else can be me. You know, there's only one of you, so no one else can be you. And the conversation that I heard yesterday um, as a new student, he's, he's fairly new, he's been here for a little bit, and he's putting in a lot of extra work. Um, did a lot, he's doing a lot of extra classes. He's, he's, He's overachieving for sure. I'm, I'm recognizing the work ethic of this individual. And um, I can see him watching the higher ranks roll, like myself and some of the other guys uh, train. And you know, you just see the look in their eye, like, man, you know, I wanna be like that. I wanna do that, you know. Um, but it takes time. People don't understand the things that I've went through or the, some of the other guys that I'm rolling with at that time the things that they've gone through to get that good. It just looks so good right now because what you're watching is a refined uh, product over years of trials and tribulations. And I think that's where we get caught up with uh, a lot of the times is we just see things for what they are, but we don't see beneath the surface of what it took for someone to get a certain way. And we want what they have like right now. And that's a mistake for a lot of people um, in whatever it is that we're trying to achieve. And you know, it's a it's a topic that I, I just kind of um, come up with, uh, you know, I run into randomly. And so for this individual, my advice, I kind of intervened on the on the conversation, and I was like, hey, best advice I can give you is to just do you. Like like, there's only one of you, and and as bad as much as we want to maybe try to do something like you're doing, we won't be able to do it exactly like the way you're doing it because it's you, it's your thing, uh, and if you get caught up into comparing yourself to, uh, so much to other people, you just kind of, um, you feel bad. You don't feel like you're worthy enough. You don't feel uh, successful enough. You don't feel like you have enough money, enough this, enough that, when actually you really do. Um, it just depends on what it is that you want to do. I don't know, for whatever reason, um, I, I just don't get caught up into comparing myself uh, to other people, what they have, the things they have. now. I do um, appreciate and and admire to a certain extent the accomplishments somebody has has done, and it might give me an idea to be like, you know what, hey, you know, I think I want to try that too, you know, and give my, you know, take a shot at that as well. But I don't really want to be exactly like someone else because I just can't. And for my jiu-jitsu people out there, you know, I, I was giving an example to one of my students just a, a few minutes ago. It was like, you know, there's just, you know. Jiu Jitsu legend, you know, Marcelo Garcia, he has this game that he plays and I watched hours and hours and hours of his videos and uh, I'll try to come in and mimic, you know, what, what he does um, on the mat. And, you know, some things work and then, you know, a lot of things just don't. I don't have his body type. I, I'm not built like him. He's got these big, thick, powerful legs and then mine are complete opposite. Um, I just don't have, I just, I'm just not that guy. I can do some things similar to him but it'd be horrible for me to just compare myself to him and allow myself to tear myself down because I can't be like that guy. Um, I just, I'm just never gonna be him. I mean, the things that I'm trying to achieve, you know, I'm, I'm working at it, I'm getting good at it, but I'll just never be that individual. And I think a lot of times that's what we get caught up in, especially, like I said, with the social media these days. Um, you know, everyone's just trying to outdo each other, trying to, trying to post their, you know, um, whatever, to just make it look like they never go through some tough things, and we all do. I've, I've talked about it in other videos, man. We're, we're either, you're either going through a storm now, you're coming out of one, or you're about to go in one, you know? 
No one walks through this life on an easy path. For sure, some have it easier than others, um, but without a doubt, we all struggle. And I think um, once we realize who we are as an individual and, and appreciate who the, the talents and the gifts that we have versus admiring too much of someone else's talents and gifts, um, we can go a lot further in life and do what, we're, what we wanna do. And I just think that um, that needs to be put out there more and more, you know? I think too many of us, again, just get caught up in, in what other people are doing and not enough in what, sh what we should be doing. And uh, I think if you focus more on that, let go of other things out there, um, you know, I, sometimes you just gotta cut this thing off. You know, you just gotta just shut it off and just do you and a lot of great things are gonna happen, you know. Uh, for me, that's just how I work, you know. I do use this, you know, I do use the phone, to, to the internet to, to check things and, and see what's happening out there. And it kind of motivates me. There's a lot of good things on, on social media. It's not all bad, it's not all bad. I use it for a different way than other people use it. You know, some people use it to just share negative things. You know, it's, it's always a negative uh, thought or a comment or, you know, someone's always complaining about something. And I'm trying to change that with these videos in a way that I think social media should be used in a way to just kind of help people, uplift people, push them in a better direction versus, you know, you know, me getting upset at the TV, what's on TV, what's going on in the politics and whatever else, and trying to force my views on you and get into these internet battles and waste a lot of my time with that stuff. I'd rather waste my, not waste my time, but I'd rather use my energy and my time to take what, I've getting, what I'm getting from someone else and then give it back to you guys because maybe you're not, just not aware of what's out there like I was. Um, you know, the affirmations, you know, the positive self-talk wasn't something that I was into uh, until I found jujitsu. You know, my first instructor always had a message of the week on the board and um, I would always walk past it. You know, every day walk in, see it, okay, that's cool. Next day, walk in, see it, or next week, see another new message. Okay, that's cool, I just wanna train jujitsu. Like, okay, that's cool. And then for one, one day, uh, for, I can't remember exactly what was going on in my life at that time, but it wasn't good. And whatever message was on the board, uh, I remember walking by and then I came back and I was like, hmm. Hmm. okay, I'll come back to that. I gotta get to class, I wanna train. And then I came back to it and read it and then for whatever reason, whatever that message was, it just hit home for me. And so I was like, man, let me check more into this, this, you know, it's an affirmation, you know, what's this is positive self-talk. So for years, I mean, talking many, many years, you know, over 10 years, um, I've been, you know, kind of doing these kind of things. And uh, it's helped tremendously because my mind is in a much better and stronger place because of the way that I talk about myself. And there'd be some people out there like, man, you're arrogant, you know, Elvarez is, uh, you know, whatever, conceited, or whatever the words are that you can find to just kind of put it out there like that. But that's not it. It's just, you know, I'm just focused on me. I'm trying to do me. I'm trying to, again, I put it out there like, like I know I won't be here one day. And before I do, before I'm gone, I just wanna, I wanna leave something. And I wasn't always like that. You know, my mindset was, wasn't always like that. But around the right people, the right coach, the right atmosphere, my mind started to change to where this is the route that I wanted to take. Now, again, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. I say things, you know, uh, but it's really not like, where I'm really trying to hurt someone. If I do say something or I do something, you know, it's a, it's, it's a mistake or an accident, but I'm not intentionally trying to like, you know, mess up my own life or someone else's or like be, be hurtful or whatever. So um, these things help. So if it's helping you anyway, uh, great. I know I got a couple messages already um, recently on how much this has helped because we need more of this stuff, man. We need more people out there putting out good things, good vibes, good energy than the just the, the negative stuff and the comparison to, to other things and other people to where, you know, we don't find ourselves worthy enough um, or look our, look at ourselves high enough to, to be in another room with someone else or, or stand next to someone else. Um, you know, hey, some other people might have more money than me or more this and that than me, but at the end of the day, man, they're human just like I am and whatever they have, you know, if I really want it, I can go, go get it. But the things that I'm chasing and things that I want are the things that I want, you know? And, um, you know, again, I've, I've, I'm chasing some other things that I saw some other people do. It just gave me some different goals to go after. Um, but make no mistake, 
I'm not really trying to compare myself to anyone else or any other man or person. I don't really care what they do. I'm going to do me each and every day. And I just, you know, highly recommend that everyone out there do the same and everything will kind of start changing for you again. Especially, uh, I was just having, again, I had a conversation with one of my students and, you know, she was just saying, you know, women are really guilty of, you know, just comparing themselves to other women or just, you know, other things to where it eat up at them to where they just don't feel the, like the, the self-worth is, is really low. And again, with social media these days, you know, I can see where that, that's, a, that's a huge problem. But again, we got things out here like this and the things that I'm listening to and if I can share them with you and it can just kind of push you in the right direction, um, if they're not going too well for you right now, then man, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to ask for anything else or do anything, just trying to share the good vibes. And uh, you know, if you're looking for a good atmosphere and a good, a good people to be around and you haven't found that yet, come check us out, Elbridge Jiu Jitsu here in Austin, Texas. And I can introduce you to a lot of great people and, um, you know, and see if some things will change for you in the right direction, all right? So anyways, gotta get out of here today. You guys have a great day and a good rest of the week.